A History of Me by Adria Theodore. Illustrations by Erin K. Robinson. I was the only brown person in class. So when we talked about slavery, I could feel every eye staring at me behind my back. When the teacher talked about picking cotton and slave shacks and sisters being sold away separately, I wanted to slide out of my seat and onto the floor and drift out the door. My mom had told me before that her great-great-grandmother on her mother's side was born enslaved, but she died young, so we didn't know much about her. And so I should be grateful to go to school and learn. I was, I love to learn, but I was the only brown person in class when we talked about the struggle for civil rights in America and Martin Luther King Jr. and marches and police dogs and water cannons. On the playground, some girls giggled and whispered and giggled some more and pointed at me and looked away when I looked at them. I wanted to slip off the swing and seep into the ground not making a sound. My mom had told me before that her grandmother on her mother's side was born free, but only got to go to school for a little while till the third grade. And so I should be grateful to go to school and learn. I was, I love to learn. I was in the third grade and I had just learned how to multiply and how to write essays and how to think for myself, but I was the only brown person walking home from school with a violin case in my hand when that boy rode by on his brand new bike and barked at me. If it wasn't for Lincoln, you'd still be our slaves. I wanted to sprint away after him and ask, is that all you see? When you look at me, my mom had told me before that she grew up in the South and everyone in her school was brown like me. She saw whites only everywhere. She wasn't mad. That was just how it was. She wanted to be a nurse. She couldn't go to school for that. So she moved up North. And so I should be grateful to go to school and learn. I was. I loved to learn. I loved science. I became a doctor who writes poems and loves music. But my daughter was the only brown person in her class when they talked about slavery and when they talked about civil rights. I told her that I was the only brown person in my class too. And just because no one ever mentions courage, strength, intelligence, or creativity, that doesn't mean it isn't there. So, she shouldn't slide to the floor or seep into the ground. But sit up straight and fly high into the sky. Because what matters more are those moments in the mirror when she asks herself, what do I see when I look at me? And when she does, I hope she will see that she is free to be anything she wants to be.